9 o'clock in the morning, the crane's here. We got two of our three new 80 barrel fermenters we're putting in today. This is to support the new canning line, our new distribution arrangement with Columbia, which has really given us great, great coverage in Oregon. These tanks are beautiful. They're made here in Portland, 80 barrels, so they hold 160 kegs per batch. These guys are gonna pick one, stage it, one's going right in, then the truck's gotta go back to the, the fabrication plant, get the other tank, and they go in one, two, three, like dominoes in reverse. Tom, you ready to get this old 40 barrel pig out of the way? Yeah. Okay, go slow. Let's see. Don, can you get a set of eyes up there? So we just walked in the first 80 barrel tank. These things are about 3,000 pounds each. They hold 160 kegs. I have to cut off the picking eyes at the top because the tolerance is so tight. I wanted to maximize the amount of beer we could fit in the building. So just that little fin at the top was hitting the ceiling the very first tank we stood up last year. So we got smart. We still need to keep it on there to move it in the building. But when we go to lift it, they're gonna now pick from the bottom of the tank. The legs are gonna walk underneath the tank as they lift it, and it'll just stand upright. Their fork is inverted, so they can get it really tight to the ceiling, and it should just fit, and if it doesn't, I'm in trouble. We just set up three new 80 barrel tanks. I want to give a quick shout out to Metalcraft Fabrication in Portland, Oregon. We buy our tanks local, like a lot of other things, and Metro Rigging. Without the rigging company and their knowledge about moving big and possibly heavy and awkward things, I'd be a nervous wreck and there'd probably be a big hole in something with the tank sticking out of it. So we're going to start filling them next week. We got to plumb them into the glycol so that they can be chilled to control the fermentation temperature and then they're gonna be ready to be filled. And the whole reason for doing it was to meet the demand this year for the can project. And the cans, the four packs of 16s, are really exceeding our expectations, so we have to be prepared. We have to have somewhere to put all this liquid. So, looking upstream, new Whirlpool tank in the brew house, three new 80 barrel tanks, a new semi-automated canning line, and a whole lot of beer to be filled. So, that's it from Hopworks.